Alrighty, the last one. The the last one here is very difficult, and I think a large part of the reason it's so difficult is that there's just so many ideas to consider. Um, and not even that, there is also some misdirection going on in that we quickly notice that in in each of these small matrices there are three of each shape. So we are led to to do all kinds of, of counting or, um, so and and then make rules for how how these shapes move around. But it turns out the fact that there are there are three in each um, little matrix is kind of a irrelevant and, and doesn't apply to to what's actually going on. So what is actually going on? We have some rules and they apply in the big matrix here from left to right. And then we have some confusion because in each of the small matrices the rules or the movement goes from top left to down bottom including a change of rule. So that would be that would be like like this. All right. What happens in each of these small matrices when we go from left to right? There is some movement. And then there is some shape shift. change of shape. <clears throat> so let's start with this guy here, this cross. There is some movement to the right when we go from this matrix to this matrix. So this cross is actually the same figure as this circle here. And then it moves right, so it ends up here and then it turns into this triangle. And then nothing more happens because the action goes from left to right and then it ends. We can try and apply the same rule to this triangle here. It starts as a triangle. Then it turns into a cross when it moves right. Then it moves right again. So it goes from the top row right to the middle row left. And it turns into a circle. So the blue one turned from cross to circle to triangle. And here we have cross turning to circle again. And it started as a triangle. Let's look at the next one. It starts as a circle, then it moves right down here and turns into a triangle. And then it turns from a triangle into a cross when it moves right again. So the blue one was cross, circle, triangle, cross, circle, triangle. The red one is cross, circle, triangle, cross, circle, triangle. And the purple one is circle, triangle, cross, circle, triangle. So we have cross, circle, triangle, and then we start over, cross, circle, triangle, etc. And then it just depends on where we start. If the first one is a circle, like the purple one, then we have circle, triangle, cross. The blue one starts as a cross, so it is cross, and then it's circle, triangle. 
and the red one is a triangle first then it's a cross and a circle let's check one more we have a triangle and then it should turn into a cross when it moves right it does and then it turns into a circle the same room rule applies when we go from here to here to here and the same rule applies from here to here to here so let's start with our triangle here it moves right and turn in, turns into a cross and then it moves right and it's supposed to be an empty circle here so we can rule out this one this one then we have our cross here cross turns into a circle it checks out it's correct and then the circle moves to the next row and turns into a triangle so we can rule out some more this is not a triangle and this is not a triangle and we have here we have <clears throat> here we have cross cross turns into circle when it moves from here to the next row that's here and then it's supposed to be a triangle so we can rule out this one and we can move out, rule out this one um, this triangle here turns into our cross and then it turns into a circle so we can rule out this one and B is our solution obviously if we think about this one or try to figure out the solution we are going to check a few more from for instance here to here and you can do it as an exercise yourself to figure to, to check out that indeed this rule applies everywhere that was the last one thanks for watching and good luck